What's up, David Dreamers? Mathers here, another episode of Classy Friday. Uh, today is a special episode because uh, I was sent out on Twitter a few hours before I started recording. I said, somebody give me a suggestion for something to do on Classy Friday today. And within a little, like an hour or something, Marinock actually left a suggestion, which was to use Piplup in Little Cup. So, there we go. We got Piplup, we got a team to back him up. We're going to see how he does. I only have not played Little Cup that much, but um, I, was, I said I would do what someone suggested, so here we go. Uh, guys, if you want to keep in touch with me, make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Diva Dreams, uh, because it's that random to do stuff like this, and it keeps, it's a good way to keep updated with the channel, kind of what videos are coming out, when, and other stuff I'm doing. Uh, so if you feel so inclined to follow me on Twitter, feel free to go check out the description below. You can find me and Marinock down there as well. Uh, but for now, why don't we just play some Little Cup? Not that team. This team. So I have played Little Cup. You can see my other teams there, but uh, I just haven't played it in a while. And I'm also repping a very nice uh, turtle tie. So if you want to get a closer look at that, feel free. It's yellow with some little baby blue sea turtles on it. It's actually like my favorite tie because I love it so much. Okay, we got a battle here. This guy is Xylon's 20. He's got some power. He's got a Gasoline, a Yenfu, a Cottony, Aeron, a Chincho, and a Growly. Uh, this is really testing my knowledge of Pokemon names on the spot because I don't always see all these younger Pokemon. Uh, this is interesting. Let's see. I know the Yenfu is a big threat in Look Up. I know Gang uh, not Gengar. Gee, see, I'm already doing it. I know Ghastly could be scary because it's probably really fast and really powerful. Um, that thing must get prankster. That thing is probably really bulky. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I, I fully expect to not do well, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm thinking at the bottom of the ladder here, right? Yeah, I'm not even ranked on the cup, so I do have a, I, we are at the very bottom of the ladder right now. What is he going to do with? Maybe some rocks for the air one, perhaps. I didn't even put that thing with a fighting type move on my team. But let's read with Purs. Purs has Earthquake, which is uh, just as effective as a fighting type move against Aeron, so. Leaves with a Chincho. Chincha, Chincho. How do you think you pronounce it? Um, I bet this thing can take an Earthquake from me, is the problem. I mean, it can hit me with either of its stab and just kind of destroy me. Now we go into an enemy. If anybody understands that name, props to you. Leave a comment down below if you get the name. Once again, that name is an enemy. It is also a lily, in case you didn't catch that from just a second ago. An enemy. It does just go right for the Thunderbolt. We do resist that, and we take it pretty well. I'm gonna go for a Giga Drain. Let's see what he does. Do you wanna stay in and take this? I hope he does. Let's see what's it. Oh, it stays in. Okay, okay. Oh, we get a nice 75% with that Giga Drain. That's what I like to see. Um, I'm just gonna go for it again. No reason not to. That'll get some damage off on whatever comes in. Okay, in comes the Ghastly, which which is, does resist it, but doesn't take it that well. And I don't know what this thing is going to hit me with. It does have Levitate, so I can't really hit it. What's this thing going to have for me? Um, is this going to try to hit me with a Shadow Ball? I think I'm going to go in the Culture Vulture here and see what he wants to do. Because if he does just go for a stab, just for Sludge Bomb? I resist that, man. Do I? Doesn't Rock resist? Oh, wait, it's neutral because of the grass, too, so... Uh, well... Looks like I might just have to... kind of lose Culture Vulture here. I really wish I'd put a Berry Juice on this thing. Um, go for a Roost in case he wants to switch. 
just see what he wants to do. Definitely just want to go for the sludge bomb again. That'd be a smart play. Yeah, he does. And he gets a crit to finish off Culture Vulture. We see he has a life orb too. That's good to know. And 18 speed. 18 speed. Ooh, okay. So we know our Abra does have speed actually. And we can come in and wreck him. And this psychic will actually hurt everything pretty hard. Except maybe the Aeron. But let's go for it. Aeron is not going to be taking especially offensive hits that well. So it looks like teleport is actually going to be a very important part of the team. There goes the Ghastly, which is nice. Uh, if the Mianfu comes in right now, it's probably Scarfed and it's going to go for a knockoff. But let's see what he wants to do. Uh, the Chincho can probably take a hit. Actually, everything can probably take a hit into the Aeron. I don't like this at all. Ooh, I do have a fun to move. Let's go into it. What's he gonna do? Yeah, let's do it. Going into Spike the Cacnea. See if we can land a nice solid drain punch off on this thing. He does just go for the Stealth Axe, which is not too big a deal. I do have Magic Guard with my Aggro. Uh, an enemy's not gonna take it. To, uh, uh, the only thing that's going to be not taking it well is purrs. The purrs doesn't seem to be uh, that useful. Uh, I mean, it would probably help against the Minfu if it's not scarfed. And uh, maybe Growly and uh, Chinchar actually. Yeah, you know what? Maybe this purrs is pretty helpful to have, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to hit him with a Drain Punch. Ooh, it almost takes him out. Do you see the Berry Juice? No, we do not see the Berry Juice. What is the animal? I don't know what he has. But he can definitely switch out right now. Uh, I think I can afford to still go for the Dream Punch though. This is where Toxic. Uh, Spike is looking pretty good right now. This team is looking better than I thought. So we take out the arrow with another Dream Punch. We'll get back to full health before we take some more damage from the Toxic. And now it's one that I want to do. Maybe a Growlithe will come in. The Growlithe does come in. It does get Intimidate on me, which is not nice. But I think an enemy can come in pretty safely against this thing. If you yet to use the Piplup, it's supposed to be like uh, an important part of the team, but... Maybe we can, we can see some action against this rally. It does go for the flamethrower, which does a lot of damage. Uh, I can go for another power, actually. Let's see if, how much this does. An enemy is not an offensive Pokemon, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go for it. It's level cut. Just kind of going for things today. What is this guy gonna do? Just go for another flamethrower. Definitely an option. The Earth Power does hit everything. It'll do some solid damage to the, the Infu if he wants to bring that in for some reason. It'll also probably kill the Chincho if he wants to come in. But he definitely should not come in. He does go for the Flare Bits and gets a crit. Not bad. Uh, it does make me want to go into Pepper now. And uh, I'm going to go for a Sarah. I'm going to go for a sub, expecting the Chincho to want to come in. Mm. That was my phone, in case you heard that vibration. Hopefully not, though, with this new, nice new headset. Uh, we did pretty well in the last couple of videos in kind of uh, eliminating that gross fan sound that comes from my computer. Mm. Let's see what this ground does. It definitely outspeeds me, so maybe it'll hit me, I'll get my berry juice and then some. That'd be nice. But also, it would be super nice if he switched out, though. Like, so much nicer if he just switched out. Oh, he switches out. Yeah, he's under the cottony. Perfect. So I have the ice beam for this. You can just smack him with an ice beam, and you can't uh, use any of his thunder wave or taunt or whatever. Actually, I think taunt goes with your subs, but you can't, like, uh, status me at all. 
does just go for the Giga Drain, which does break my sub, and I hit him with an Ice Beam, which is a 1 hit KO, that was nice stuff, it's good stuff. Uh, now the um, Chincho is probably going to come in, though. and it can do so pretty safely. switch. Teleported is at speed. So let's just stay in, go for Skull, test out to see if he... Let's, go for skull. let's test out, he goes for Drain Punch, we live, and we get the Berry Juice, and we get Skull off. Okay, I, I didn't connect with the thing, but... Um, wow, we live the Drain Punch. Um, wow. <laughs> So maybe he has voltage over my change it. Uh, but what was I gonna say? Let's test to see if he's um he hasn't shown an item yet, he could be scarfed. I'm just gonna go for another scarf though. If he goes into the water absorbing chincha right now, that'd be nice. For him. I mean that'd be nice for him. Goes for the U-turn. Another chincha. I kind of wish I had put a chin on this too. Which is pretty awesome. But I'm predicting the chin to come in, the water absorb. That would be really nice if it did not have water absorb. I think he predicted the switch there. Although that, I don't really know why. Because I could have easily taken another hit. But we know he's not scarfed. He did switch up his mood, so we do, we do know that um, Teleporter will outspeed, and I think that might even get us the game at this point, uh, depending on if we can sweep in the Growly for a little bit more, I think Teleporter can sweep. Because we did see the Growly switch up its moves too, so we know that it's not Scarf either. So we know Teleporter outspeeds everything and can KO 2 out of 3, definitely KO 2 out of 3, which are the Chinchon and the Infu. It can probably kill the Growlithe at this point. Uh, I'm not sure though, let's see. It is at 78%. He, if he's running the bulkier set, it might not. So that's why I want to weaken it a little bit first. Mm -hmm. Still waiting on this guy to pick his U-turn switch. He's got 60 seconds left. I'm hoping he didn't just quit. It would be pretty unfortunate. My phone did vibrate again in case you heard that. Hopefully not, because this thing is awesome. Uh, but we only have 60 seconds left. Really hoping this guy didn't just like, isn't just tying me out. He's got 40 seconds left now. Come on, man. <sighs> 30 seconds left. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm going to pause it until he comes back. If he comes back, we'll find out. Smoke weed every day. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back. He did just time out, which is pretty unfortunate. It's kind of annoying to do that. He just left after he times out, too. He didn't even say anything. Uh, but he could have, let's see, like, just theory mining a little bit. Uh, I don't even know if that's what that means, theory mining. Is that if you're trying to figure out how the battle would have gone, or is that, like, theory of if a Pokemon got ability or something? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, if he had gone into the Chincho and it had Water Absorb, I probably would have just let Pele uh, I don't want to say Pele Pepper, but if I would have just let Piplup go down to uh, Electric Type move, would have just gone for Ice Beams and let uh, put Piplup go down, and then brought in uh, probably something to weaken it a little bit if it got a lot of HP back from the Skull, and then sack that and then brought in. Uh, teleporter that Abra to kind of just finish off. So I think I pretty much had the game under wraps and I think Zylon's twin also need that, which is why he just gave up. So I'm gonna show that replay. And we will find another battle. Hopefully we can finish at least one battle in this session. Alright guys, I'm going to pause it until we find another battle. We'll be right back. 
What's up, guys? We're back with another battle against Critical G. This guy's got a shiny team. He's got a Spinak. He's got a Ponyta. So it's easy to test him. He's got a Drillbear, a Cacnea, a Staryu, and a Porygon. I am see the Spinarak and I immediately think Sticky Web, which is not great for my team. Not great at all. Let's look at the purrs. Let's get a home closet up as it goes for the Sticky Web. That'd be nice. Ooh, he leaves with the ponies. Okay. This thing is actually super fast, my goodness. I joined the left immediately. <laughs> uh, don't really want Purge taking too much damage, so I am going to go into Culture Vulture for now, just to play it safe. Ooh, he switches too. He needs to start. Not bad. I could have gone for a move and probably got some good damage on. This thing is not part of Psychic, so it's not weak to not die. This is similar. Let's just go for a U turn. Just get some initiative, perhaps. We go for the Dazzling Gleam and we live it on one and we get a U turn off. Oh boy. This thing is super fast. Let's go and do an enemy. Breath probably should not have stayed in on that. That'd be pretty foolish. Because I should have known it. I could not have taken out of it. Uh, but let's go for a Giga Drain now. See if this thing wants to stay in on me. We just have a couple things that resisted, like the Spinner Act, for example. Earth Pound is actually neutral. Yeah, let's go for it anyway. He's probably gonna sell the sticky web. I don't want him to get some free setup turns. He does go for the sticky web, and we hit him with our earth power, which is nice. 39%, which is not bad. Uh, I'm just gonna hit him with another one and see what he does. He doesn't have anything levitating or flying. So, pretty cool. Earth power will hit everything. There's a 3 hit KO as well. So he can stay in and see if he can you know, try to go for some damage or something. He does set up some toxic spikes, which is actually not bad because I don't have a poison type on my team. And he will be able to get up another layer of spikes. So he will get the full toxic level of spikes. Which is pretty unfortunate. Not Stick with it and a toxic spikes, it's not really something I want to deal with. But this switch now that scar you. And you get some nice damage off on that thing. I uh, don't really know what he was going for. I'm just gonna go for another Giga Drain now. Um, I'm gonna go for another Earth Power. Because Earth Power hits everything on this team. And Giga Drain does not. Oh, I want him to predict me to go for Giga Drain now. I think that's what he's trying to do, he's trying to beat me into it. He goes for a skull. Awesome, so I get a plus uh, my special attack, so now I'm bulky and special attack. And I've got some leftovers in case someone starts to actually hit me with a move or something. Uh, so we're actually sitting pretty pretty right now. Pretty pretty. And we have some super effective moves to hit a couple of things with, like this drill bear, for example. I hit it with a U drain. <laughs> Not, not, no problems here. You're probably one shot at an attack boost. Uh, okay, he sets up rocks. <laughs> Let's just kill it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Bring up the next thing, please. He saw me go for the Giga Drain earlier. I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, he should have gone into the probably should have just let his spinner act on me and then gone into either the Porygon or the Rapidash to try to like, stall me out or something. Maybe even the Cacnea, like, I haven't even used for the Cacnea. No, no, no. <laughs> Is this guy gonna, like, time out again? Um, what do you want to do? 
Here comes the Cacnea. Uh, Earth Power is resisted, so is Giga Drain, but Giga Drain is stab. But you know what? I think I'm just going to go for a Toxic on this thing. What is this thing? Let's save Toxic for when he brings out the Porygon. Let's just go for a Giga Drain for now and see how much damage it do. This will drain punches, actually. Super effective. Oh my god. Hmm. Puts me in a tougher position now. Because he will KO me with the next brain punch. Much so, switch in. Um, could go into my own cap, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let an enemy go down. I don't want him to set up a sword stance or something on me. He does just go for the green punch, okay, he goes and he gets back to full health, which is not great, but not terrible either, because I can go into. Hers and uh, actually don't take, don't get hurt by the sticky web or the toxic spikes. So I'm actually not too bad right now. I'm gonna go for a home I kind of feeling a sucker punch. I'm just gonna go for a home closet right now. Goes for a drain punch. Perfect. That sets off my berry juice, and now I can freely acrobatics. It's exactly what I had planned for this thing. I'm so glad it worked out like that. Um, so now uh, acrobatics is double power because my item is gone. I, yep, it is gone. And I can acrobatics away. Take out this cacti. It doesn't look like it had the sucker punch, or maybe it was banded actually. That's definitely a possibility. Because it did not switch its moves up at all. Uh, so I am pretty, sitting pretty. Pretty. I'm sitting pretty pretty. That's the new phrase. Uh, he goes into the Porygon. And I think Agrobats is still... It is my most powerful move, so I'm just going to go for it. See how much damage we get off on this thing. I am at plus one as well, which is awesome. Let's see what this Porygon wants to do. If it was an Agrobats, we one-shot the Porygon. Perfect. Uh, now the Ponyta should come in. Because I'm pretty sure it does have speed. Unless he's not running speed. And I'll hit that thing with a stone edge. But I, hope, I expect myself to be able to live at least one hit. But it's not looking good for my opponent. In comes the opponent's uh, Let's just hit him with a stone edge. I think, hopefully, I can live at least one hit from this thing. Just go for the will. It's not bad. But the stone edge still one hit KOs. And that means we pretty much have this game in the bag because the spinner has, does not have speed and I can have, even with a burn, I can KO. So that's a pretty good time. Uh, GG to Critical G. I uh, got an eyelash in my eye. And that's a pretty solid classic Friday right there, folks. Uh, we've got two wins under our belt, and I think I'm just going to end it right there because we are at a pretty good amount of time. Uh, guys, Little Cup can be fun. Feel free to try it out. Uh, leave a comment if you want to suggest something for the next week's video. Uh, because I guess I'm doing that now. Uh, no, I like to do it. Uh, sometimes I can't always think of something interesting to do for the channel. So I think it's fun to just kind of let you guys get involved and uh, give me some suggestions. Because I like to get you guys involved. And I know it's always fun to see something that you suggested on the channel. And... I love you guys. We've reached like 67 subscribers recently, which is really awesome. Guys, I'm rambling. I'm just going to keep end it right here. Guys, keep dreaming, and above everything else, keep it classy. I'll see you next time.